Hello everyone, welcome to Marlin Chess Kids. Today I will show you one of the games played by Justin and Robert. In this position, this position is in the ninth move where Black just made a castling. So basically the best move for the white is normally we go for a castling or another alternative you can move the rook to b1 and attacking the pawn however in this actual game white take a very aggressive move by playing h4 and further you can move to h5 and to take the pawn at h take d6 the idea of this is to destroy the structure of the black king so the game goes as this h4 cx d4 cxd4 queen to a5 check and here white made the king move and there's a no need to have a castling King f1, bishop g4, pinning the queen, f3 to prevent the pin, bishop d7, and now white continue to make the aggressive attack by playing h5. Then black continue to play queen to a3, attacking the bishop, and white play king to f2 to protect the bishop and allow the queen to move to queen g2, queen f2. Rook A to D8 Then the white play Pawn takes G6 And at this position, white is clearly better Because all the pieces are quite Developed and attacking the king The black king This bishop is pinning the pawn this bishop is contouring the square and can able to take the rook. Black play h takes g6. And now white have a beautiful idea by playing queen to g1 and queen to g h2. Then you have a simple checkmate at h7. White continue to play queen to g1 and hoping for queen to h2. Black play bishop e6. Then white play queen to h2. And as you can see here, the queen are able to checkmate at h7 and is guarded by the own rook. So black play rook f e8 and now white mate in 5. Can you find how white made the winning move? I give a couple of seconds to figure out. 
Well, congratulations for those who found the answer. And for those who like to enjoy the show, here are the moves. The white play queen to h7 and make a check. Therefore, uh, the king do not have any pieces to block the check. And the only way to move is king to f8. Then, you can see that after this, the king has no place to move. So white continue to attack by playing bishop h6. And after this position, black resign as there's no way it can be moved. For example, if bishop takes the bishop, bishop takes h6, then you have a simple checkmate by moving the queen to h8. Check. And the king have no place to move. Back to this position. Uh, if the queen take e3 or go to the e3 to check the king, so the king will just take the queen. Then bishop takes the bishop and check. And the queen will just continue to take the bishop and check and king to g8. Then you have a very simple checkmate by white playing queen h8 checkmate. The king is being checked and the queen is protecting the diagonal square. And the rook is protecting the queen. With this, thank you.